talking don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm gonna tell y'all what's going on with my face here um yeah you guys know i am seven days post app oh i'm gonna wear myself it's i'm gonna wear myself on technically i'm like eight days because i don't think we count surgery day as post-op i think it's the day after regardless let's just say seven days post-op it has been a, exactly a week since my surgery um i'm going to weigh myself on sunday so technically i think i was supposed to wear myself tomorrow that would have been a whole week but i'm waiting till sunday which is going to be nine days post-op because i want to um start my starting in my week on um sundays i figured that out my face is breaking out you guys see it obviously you see it it's like there but I'm gonna take care of these because these are super ugly. But I just wanted to show you guys. Yo. But anyways, so I had a late start today. I had a lot to do um, work-wise. I'm even, I'm working right now. So I had a lot of work to do today um, and I still have a lot to do. Um, but with that being said, I did go on a little walk. I'm, like I said, like you guys saw, I'm currently um, drinking some of my tea. It's 1.30. I haven't even taken my pills that I'm supposed to take. So I have a blood thinner and an antibiotic. I can't believe it's 1.30. <laughs> I have a pain pill and an antibiotic. This is the last day for... Um, not a painkiller a blood thinner and an antibiotic that i take daily this is the last day it looks like for my blood thinners um technically I, this could be my last day for my antibiotic as well but my as you guys know in my previous videos i had to go to the hospital um they told me to continue to take my antibiotic until that is done so it looks like with that being said i would have about five more days of antibiotics to take um so that's fine but last day for blood thinner um so this pill is i want to show you guys my pills this pill is small enough for me to just drink so we're good with that with my um with my antibiotic i actually can just crush that um it's technically already crushed. I don't have to crush it. It comes in this like plastic thing. And all I do literally is just, can you guys see this? I hope so. But I kind of need to focus. It like slides up and I kind of pinch it because some of the powder does come up as you can see. Okay y'all, so I'm gonna try to drink the rest of my shake. It's kind of frozen right now, but it seems like I only like these. Wow, it's really frozen. <laughs> Hold on real fast. Okay, so <laughs> it's super frozen, but I like these. Um, there's a little hole in here. I like these shakes like super cold, so not that worried. I still got a little bit of my tea left. And I do have two tea bags in here. Oh my gosh. Here. 
and I'm going to start on my second bottle of water here shortly. Um, I'll go on another walk probably in like two hours. I have a meeting in like 30 minutes. So I'll be able to go on another walk in a couple hours. But today has been like pretty chill. Um, like I said, I'm seven days post-op. I'm seven days post-op. Technically, I believe I'm six days post-op if I'm not counting my surgery day. So I'm seven days since my surgery, six days post-op because I think they count post-op the day after your surgery. But that's fine. Y'all know I count it the day of my surgery. So, um, but if we're going off of, based off of the day after my, I mean, the day of my surgery, I only have one, like, the um I had my band I took my bandages off I actually took them off yesterday so I would have been six days post-op I took them off and kind of let them like breathe or whatever um and I have to say physically I can see like the difference of my stomach um I did take before pictures you guys will see that here soon sometime but my stomach is much much flatter um so that's cool. <laughs> um, like I said, I am, I'm just gonna let my incisions like breathe today, breathe today, the rest of the day. I don't know if I want to wrap the one that I showed you guys um, that, you know, looks, it, doesn't, it looks closed now. But yesterday it looked open a little bit. So I'm gonna just let, let me see what the air does for it today. Like I said, also my other incision, the one that was like kind of lumpy, that's the only one that I was kind of sad about. But I feel like my doctor did a great job with like my incisions and closing those up and things like that. So super happy with that. Um, I can't wait to see like what it looks like, like going forward. I think I want to start putting like scar cream on it. Not right now, but maybe like give it another week um, or so. A week, a week and a half. I normally don't have like dark, dark scars on me. Um, so I'm not that worried, but I would rather prevent it. So we'll see. But I'll check back with you guys again in a little bit. Hey, friends. I'm in the car, but when am I ever not in the car when I talk to you guys? Um, let's see. So, I'm actually going to the store because um, I have chicken broth at home, but I was gonna get soup and not eat like the inside of the soup, if that, not the inside, not eat like the actual stuff that comes with the soup. I was just gonna eat like the, liquid part but i think that might be too thick for me right now um y'all know i am seven days post op i need to get out of here i'm seven days post op sorry so y'all know i'm seven days post op um so I think that might be too thick. Um, they, I know they have miso soup at Kroger's. That's where I'm going. It's Kroger's. I know they have miso soup um, that I might get. I think that might be like a little bit lighter. And I'm just not going to eat like whatever green onions and stuff that comes with it. Um, I just want a different different type of broth different you know um i might get the chicken i might see if there's chicken noodle soup it probably is good i want to get the uh light one so it's not so much salt um but we'll see when i get there and y'all tmi my stomach is on 10 okay i'm talking about not a one not a two not a, a, a fucking 10 my stomach hurts and I'm just like, what is going on? Like, but I think it's really from that tea, which is good because 
like I want to get I want to get everything out okay I do so I'm not complaining that it's coming out I'm complaining about actually I'm not even complaining it's just like why why does it have to be so so much I need to clean this so you guys don't have to look at no dust I don't know sorry y'all but yeah my stomach is hurting so I'm making this trip quick I probably will pick up some water because I don't have that much water left I probably have like the water I have right now probably will last me until Monday but I would rather like take less trips um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the store um, and then I think when I get home I'm probably gonna walk um, take my puppy on a walk so we'll see but I'll see y'all in the store bye friends But I definitely can't eat like the uh, veggies. I, I might see if there's something else. Let me go look at the soup area. Cause it has sugar in it. That's too much sugar, so. Okay, we get candles. Chicken broth, soup. Um, I guess this is something bad. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm gonna try this. These are really good too, but I can't eat the noodles yet. Wait, what is this? Oh, that has noodles. So you can't eat that. Remind y'all, I'm seven days post at. This is what I normally get. Not the one with too much, but the original. Your attention, all departments, code green. Uh, At this time, please bring all recycling. They're receiving all departments, code green. Okay, so. See, once I can like eat stuff, I'm gonna get soup like this, like that. I cannot wait, lentil soup. So, we'll see. Uh, why don't they have any light soup? Am I tripping? Uh, hold on, you guys. Do y'all see any soup that says light? Let me look and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so honestly, I got this soup. Um, it has like 60 calories or 130 for the whole can. But then again, I'm not eating any of the actual noodles and stuff. The only thing, the only problem with this is it has a lot of like sodium. I'm gonna try it just because. So we'll see. I am confused what's going on. But I'm gonna try this just in case. And I'm also going to get this. But I'll probably eat that tomorrow, honestly. I was trying to look for other stuff. But I don't see anything else. 
that seems appealing. So, onion soup. Can't have that though right now. Yeah, so I'm gonna just get those two. Oh my god, look at this cute little pot. It's little. They have cream of chicken. all right so y'all seen i got the two soups i'm gonna probably just eat the one the chicken noodle one but like i said i'm just eating the broth from it i'm just gonna eat the broth from it all right yes so there's people behind me I'm gonna just eat the broth from the chicken noodle one today. Um, because that's what I want. So, when I get home, I'm gonna take my puppy outside. We're gonna go on a little walkie walk. Um, depending on how I feel, I might walk around my complex twice. Um, like I said, you guys, my stomach is hurting me, so I don't know if I want to do that or not. <laughs> I don't know. But I'll see you guys when we go on our walk. like little baby bowl i probably i probably try to drink all of this just so i can get liquids in i also have my water but i put one of these propels in it this has electrolytes um it's the raspberry lemonade super good highly recommend my mom got me those so shout out to my mama <laughs> But I also have my baby spoon. I like using these baby spoons because they like help you not um, take too big of like sips and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try this on camera. Okay. 
it's not bad it's better than just like plain chicken broth i can tell you that but it's not bad i'll definitely like i can definitely eat this i don't know if i'll be able to eat all of it but it's good um that was the you guys know that was the chicken noodle soup that had vegetables and stuff and noodles and chicken in it but i took that out i actually gave it to my dog are we supposed to do that i put one shoulder up i put the other shoulder up and i put them down i don't care <laughs> but whatever he ate it so i'm gonna try to eat as much as i can when i'm done we're gonna have dessert so I'll see you guys when it's dessert time. Okay, friends, let's get started. So you're gonna need a protein shake, any of your choice. And you're also gonna need like um, popsicle molds. It can be small or little, I like the little ones. Um, you're also gonna wanna put like a towel down just in case, I'm messy, so you know I had to put a towel um and then you're gonna go ahead and take the popsicle sticks out um because we're gonna start pouring our protein shake in um as you can see i have the caramel um fair life delicious may i add and you're gonna go ahead and just pour that in to each little pocket and yeah make sure it's full though <laughs> don't be like me Okay, hi friends. So you guys saw that I made protein popsicles. I'm gonna go ahead and taste this and see like what's the vibes like. Um, okay. This is actually super, super good. Um, I love this idea because it's just like you, it's, it's definitely like a dessert vibe. It gives you the dessert vibe, but you're still getting your liquids and your protein in. Um, and if you decide to eat two of these, like, you won't even be wrong because you're still getting your protein in. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm probably just gonna eat this one and call it a night. I still need to finish my water, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that after I'm finished eating my desserts. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye friends! Bitches and